Welcome back to the back nine of to How Can I Get Better series. We are the back nine of the Tampanese course. We had a stellar front nine of even par and let's see whether we can carry on the good streak. Now I'm going with a three iron as I do not want anything longer than 200 meters as we will bring the pawn on the right side into play. Strategy okay. on this par five is a big key. The fairway gets really narrow as there's water on the left and also hazard on the right side. I went with a 5 iron and planned to lay up just before the bunkers on the right. But of course, if you are really confident with your longer clubs, let's say your 3 wood, then you can blast it past the bunker. The pin One, is in the middle, One, it's two, perched to the pin. on the second tier. It's quite a difficult pin to reach as if you go really long, the green kind of slopes away from you and the ball might kick really far away to the back of the green. So I'm on a downhill lie. I went with a 9 iron to hit a 125 meters. We can actually land the ball just after the bunker on the right as there is a down slope, hoping that if the ball lands there, it will kick towards the hole. Even though if we are not successful, we are still left with a very decent up and down or two parts uphill. All we need here is a pretty good pace and strength. I've been working really hard on my putter lately, changed my setup as well as how I make my strokes. I'm pretty confident here with a two part. Thank you. Hole 11 is a par 4 with got a tee box that has shifted forward towards the white tees. Bunkers on the right side isn't in play for me, so I'm going to go for a full driver. Now I'm left with 70 meters to the pin. I have a downhill ball below feet line and as you can see the wind is blowing left to right. I kind of plan to hit a draw towards the pin but because of the bunker on the left somehow the body just reacted to that and pushed the ball to the right thus you can see I'm venting my frustrations I do still have a birdie part read this about maybe one and a half cups right I would say I struck that perfect but it was just unfortunate the ball did not fall into the hole Hole 12 is where all the trouble started. And there was no reason for me to give a big whack on the oh. driver as this isn't a really long par 4. Pushed the ball to the right in the bunker and the ball was really close to the lip. Instead of me playing a higher lofted club, I went with a 6 iron. I got greedy. I had to take a drop. Ah. And what made matters worse was the battery died and I couldn't even show you my next shot. I hit it towards the bunker next to the green side and hit it to here with a two part and then ended up with triple bogey. What a disaster. Regrouping myself on hole 13, we have to put the ball on the fairway. So with a nice smooth swing, we just need to keep the ball in play. Remember if you play this hole, just keep the ball in play, play it left. Now I'm left with 100 meters with ball below feet again. I have the face slightly opened. Unfortunately, I turned it through. Frustrated at myself with my wedges. So definitely I have to work on these distances, especially on the uneven lies. And now you can see on the green, we've got pretty dark green. And then there's light green closer towards the hole, which means that we're going uphill and then downhill. Now this part here is really quick, so a really gentle tap for par. Thank you. Damn fast man, this part. Hole 14 par 3 at the Tampanese course is a very challenging one. Now when you see pins on the left and today's one which is over the bunker, you have to play the ball left of that pin. Now anything right of that will actually be really difficult for you to get up and down. So I'm more inclined to play um, my miss which is a pull. The ball landed towards the back of the green and I had trouble figuring out the line on this putt. 
You see? It has a... I'm left with a very right testy 4-5 footer. Just a slight mistake or nerves can actually make you miss your power part. Fortunately, it went in yep. and off to hole 15. We've got the bunkers on the right and that's definitely in play. I think this bunker is the most strategic bunker in the entire course. I went for a draw. Unfortunately, the draw wasn't enough and the ball was stuck behind this tree. I was deciding between a 6 or a 7. I have to start this right of this fern. Planning to turn six the ball iron. around this tree. What do you think of my practice swings? Do you think um, me hitting the fern is a penalty shot? I can hit like 130 with a like a right to left spin, the ball lands, you will kick to the green. Am I improving my lie? Should I get penalty for this? Write it down in the comments below. Where did it go? Short and right. Ah. From here, the ball uh, needed to climb this uphill toward the back pin. I was deciding between a pitching wedge or a nine. I went with a P, but it came up short. Wow. It dismayed at my uh, decision. Had to make this part for par, but statistically wise, it's a 50-50, maybe even a 60-40. A 9-9 on this hole 16 will put me back into good position. Struck it really well and the ball was close to the hole. However, I was left with a very difficult left to right putt. I read it about 3 cups left and it wasn't enough at all. Hole 17 is a very straightforward par 4. It can't get straighter than this. We've got hazards on the left and bunker on the right. My plan was to aim just left of the bunker and draw it back. But somehow again, the body just reacted to the hazards on the left and pushed the ball towards the right. Now, can you remember what I did on hole 12 with that in the bunker? So I went with an 8 iron now and just wanted to get the ball out. I learned from my last bunker shot ball is just outside the green and you know i've got pretty decent shot game so i should have just depended on my shot game i was planning to chip the ball into the hole i didn't take enough break towards the left and again i'm left with a seven footer for par now with all the practice and training i've had with my putting, I would say I'm actually 90% confident with this putt. Making a huge right to left footer for par did really increase my confidence going to the last hole. So hole 18, I've got the driver. I'm right side's pretty safe. Went all out and put the ball into play. Right in the middle of the fairway. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Now the fairway on this par 5 can get really tricky as you can see the slope is pretty severe. I've stand closer to the ball, narrowed my stance, choked down on my 3 wood and the ball will actually come out slightly lower than normal. Thank I you. plan to run the ball up down the fairway and now left with a 70 meter wet shot. Pin is right at the back. Recently um, the greens has been really soft so we can actually attack the pin and the ball will stop really quickly. So with a lob wedge, struck this really good. Ball landed just next to the pin. Thank you. And left with a 10 footer for. Let me birdie. go first. Here you will see uh, my routine. I've already decided that this was a 2% slope, uh, right to left. So I would say it's about two cups right. So let's recap of what we need to do for my game for this 18 holes. Um, I think the first glaring part of my game that really need work will be wedges. 
and I think I'll dedicate the entire year, next year, 2023, to work on my wedge game. And number two will definitely be my decisions, especially when I don't hit it that well, I have to take my medicine and play it safe. And lastly, I need to work on my drive. I've actually put myself in really bad positions, um, leaving the ball towards the right. So these three things, if I work on them the next year, I believe my scores will lower. Thank you for watching this 18-hole uh, series. Um, I'll see you guys next week and may the cause be with you. Bye-bye.